Okay, I want to talk about Hurricane Sandy. Um, it is a devastation, and we should all get together and send our prayers out to people who's concerned about their family who resides in the East Coast, um, because it is a time that we all should come together. Um, send up prayers. Uh, if you can help, send out food, whatever it may be, whatever assistance you can do to help them, you know, recover from this storm would be great. But I, what I want to say is that the storm has an impact and we've had Hurricane Katrina, we have had tsunamis and storms has hit in cities that you have never, they haven't hit in decades. And I'm trying to understand what's the bigger picture to this and what would be the after effect of the storm and how would it resonate in your mind to help you to look at life differently. But as I was watching the coverage, um, I can't understand if governors and mayors get on TV and said evacuate. If you saw the pictures of Hurricane Katrina, why would you continue to stay in your your homes or wherever you're living and then you say you're going to ride it out and if it gets too bad, then you'll move. But that can be too late. I, I don't understand that. And then you want to call the hotline and blow it up because now the power is out and you need assistance. Preventive measures are preventive measures for a reason. And if somebody says, continue, you need to evacuate, then that's what you need to do, evacuate. In Illinois, I saw on the news where they had babies down uh, at um, Lake Shore by the water. And um, with babies and strollers and the waves are rising up. Parents, do you have any concern for your kids? I continue to say you cannot correct. And oops, you just cannot. It doesn't make any sense. My next point to this is... If there was not a presidential election, would Mitt Romney have been out to assist in creating care package? Uh, that's just a little food for thought. And I'm sure somebody's going to have a negative response or maybe even a nasty response, but it doesn't matter to me. Uh, it's my opinion and my thought process. Uh, when the storm finally settles and the water recedes and everything, prayerfully and hopefully, the president has said, cut through the red tape, no bureaucracy. I hope and I pray that the organizations that need to step up to the plate do what they need to do to assist the people that are in need. Construction companies for the houses and the blocks of houses that has gotten burnt down and there's nothing left. I hope and pray that you all will find it in your hearts to hire people that's unemployed, that has a skill set, electrician, plumbers, uh, carpenters, or whatever it may be, to help rebuild the city. We can all chip in. Whatever it is we can do, we can do. And maybe there's a message to us to get rid of all this negativity that's been going on because it's been crazy. And... A storm has come through like nobody has ever thought it would have come through. When you see a tanker that's been blown from a mile out to a mile in, that makes you wonder. And it should cause you to think, life is too short. It is too short for negativity and nonsense. So I hope and I pray that the value of life becomes more prominent than it was before. And if you was in a house and the tree has fell on your house and you still survive, you ought to get on your knees and say thank you. Um, because that could have been the other way around. Um, for the churches that's in these areas, let's step up and step out. This is the time that you're... Your um, congregation can say what your purpose is. Um, again, for these organizations that are under the government that can help and people that cannot, everybody needs to chip in. Again, it, I go back to it's a village. It takes a village. So let us continue to pray for those on the East Coast and for those who dance with the stars, who parents and wives and children were out there. We need to pray and band together and send and help and do whatever we can 
uh, to help this transition from being uh, none working to get back to a working environment and for donald trump you have your office open that's crazy as hell that's all i can say about that you just you amazes me that's all i can say again praying for the east coast um hopefully you can recover uh, quicker and there'll be resolution insurance companies can pay up because you've been putting money into it uh Cut out the red tape. You already saw it. You watched it on the news. It's constantly playing over and over again. These families need help. They need to get back on their feet. And there should not be any delay in the process. And it's been um, acknowledged early because everybody knew it was coming. The president's already acknowledged. So there should be no excuses for the assistance to get to the people that it needs to get to. That's all I'm saying. Let the rubber meet the road.